Are you thinking about moving to Grandview Heights, Ohio? Well, today I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna get you the nitty and gritty on Grandview, and we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of living in Grandview Heights, Ohio. What's up everyone, my name is Brad Winter and if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Go ahead and give us a like, click the bell, tap on that subscribe button. Every time you guys do that, that helps you to blast our videos out to anybody and everybody who wants to learn more about the Columbus Metro or surrounding areas. Now I am a licensed real estate agent here in the state of Ohio and as much as I love doing those videos for you guys, I would love nothing more to help you with real estate needs. So if you are thinking about moving here, are relocating here, if you already live here, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, fire off an email. We're gonna be here for you 24-7, 365 for all your real estate needs. So let's get right into it. Pro number one about living in Grandview Heights, Ohio is it's close proximity to downtown Columbus, Ohio. Now, if you look at the map that's there on the screen, you were gonna see that Grandview is just a stone's throw away right across the Scioto River, just west of downtown Columbus. This is amazing location. If you are somebody that works downtown and you wanna ride your bike in the morning to work, if you wanna run, if you on a rock if you want to even get on one of those scooters and go you are super close to downtown so you can do all those things also if you're somebody that maybe you've lived downtown in a condo before or maybe you want to live downtown but you don't want to go up all those flights of stairs you don't want to be in an elevator so you want to be close and you want a yard maybe you want a garage grandview is super close it gives you that urban feel still so again grandview close proximity to downtown Columbus, it is a huge pro of living there. All right, so let's talk about something that may be negative to some people about living in Grandview is the cost of housing. Now, I looked at the data over the last 365 days and the average home is a three bed, 1700 square foot home that has sold in the last 365 days for $589,000. That's kind of expensive for this area, right? I mean, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, Brad, that's crazy. And some people might think, hey, you know what? I live in Southern California, that chump chain, no big deal. You just have to decide where your budget at able to pay for something like that or if you're not that might be a negative about living in Grandview now I also read that right around 62% of people that live in Grandview own their home and the rest rent and when talking about rent you're looking at an average for a two bed one bath around 16 to 1800 dollars a month that is one of the most expensive areas for rent in Central Ohio and in Ohio itself not to mention it does rank pretty high for or you know, a two bed, one bath rental rate in the whole country. Now I'm not saying it's in the top five or top 10, but it's definitely on the higher side. So again, if we're talking about housing in general, in Grandview, this may be a con for some people about wanting to possibly live there. Let's jump right back into it and talk about a pro about living in Grandview, that's gonna be its school. So Grandview schools rank in the top five in Central Ohio. It's in the top 30 in the state of best school districts. That is absolutely awesome. So if you're somebody that really cares about education, rest assured, your kids are gonna have a wonderful school to go to. Not to mention, this is really cool that I found too on niche.com is it ranks number 50 out of 11,000 schools for its safety and that is huge you know unfortunately in today's world there's a lot of horrific things that happen so having a school that really takes pride in trying to make its student and staff safe is really great so something to think about also it ranks in the top 300 out of those 11,000 schools for the best teachers and with the education part of tech that they teach which is huge I mean that's the way kind of the world is going with all this tech stuff so again it if you are somebody that really puts an emphasis on their child's education and you don't want to maybe branch out to the suburbs to go to a really solid public school, you can send your kids to Grandview. And inside of 270, you've got that urban feel still. So if that's something that is really important to you, definitely check it out. Uh, Niche.com is a really great place to check it out. Yeah, Grandview Schools, awesome. Another big pro about living in Grandview. 
If you're somebody that loves old homes, this is gonna be the place for you. If you are somebody that loves modern, new construction, you are not going to find a lot of it in Grandview. So a con about living in Grandview is not a lot of new construction. You have had a number of developers that have recently in the last number of years done some new development homes, some townhomes in the Grandview Yard area, which is awesome. Grandview needed that. But besides that, if you are somebody that maybe can't afford a seven, eight hundred thousand dollar house that those developments pretty much range from then you are going to have to go deeper into Grandview and more than likely you are going to be looking at older homes those older homes are going to have smaller bedrooms in a lot of instances you are going to have maybe one to one and a half bathrooms on the top floor it is going to be a different look and feel than ultra modern homes that maybe somebody is used to so again Grandview is wonderful for a lot of things but new development new construction is just not something you are going to see with housing. You will see it with rentals from time to time. But again, if you are somebody that loves new construction, Grandview is not going to be the place for you. My wife and I, we tried. We tried to live there. We wanted desperately to you know, leave the Marion Village area that we were in, just south of Columbus, move to Grandview because we weren't quite ready to leave the city. But we tried to find something new. We didn't want old. We had old. We were tired of it. We were tired of dealing with all those issues that old houses can have. And we were on the hunt for months and we're in the business and you know we just didn't find anything that we could renovate to make our own or you know it wasn't a complete tear down so Grandview has beautiful old homes don't get me wrong they're gorgeous I love them they're great they're not for me or they might not be for you either so if you're thinking about moving to Grandview just keep in mind that one of the cons that you're gonna run into is not enough new construction Let's talk about money. The cost of living is gonna be another con about living in Grandview. I recently read that for an individual to feel comfortable living in Grandview with housing, restaurants, the taxes, transportation, all those things, they need to be making an annual salary or salary plus bonus of $80,000. That is a lot of money and not everybody can do that. So this makes Grandview really expensive for the average person. So if you're somebody that makes that type of money, hey, great, Grandview might just be the place for you. If you are somebody that doesn't make around 80,000, it might be hard for you to afford something in Grandview. Not saying it can't be done, not saying that you can't do it. Everybody's circumstance is different. But when I see that Grandview Heights cost of living is around 20% higher than the national average, that's a big con to me. That's a, that's a big red flag to a lot of people. So just knowing that when you are making your search for the Columbus area and you want to stay kind of in that metro re region, just remember Grandview is going to be more expensive than say maybe living in Victorian Village or Italian Village or German Village or somewhere, you know, maybe Marion Village any of those places they might be less expensive than living in Grandview because of schools municipality all the taxes all those things that you know what makes Grandview expensive so keep that in mind that's another con cost of living in, in Grandview is expensive Woo! last but not least this is my favorite pro and I'm gonna leave you guys on this is Grandview Avenue Grandview Avenue is kind of the heart of Grandview it's where you're gonna find a lot of the great restaurants the shops the bars kind of the city center old town of Grandview it's absolutely awesome so I'm gonna run down some of my favorites that you have to experience if you want coffee go to Stoffs. I've been going there for a decade love that place you are gonna see a whole range of age groups which I think is really cool there's gonna be college kids that are there studying you're gonna have young professionals and you know, people like me that are stopping in for coffee, doing some work on their laptop, then heading out for the rest of the day. And then you've got people that, you know, they have young families and maybe on the weekends they're stopping in with their dog, grabbing a cup of coffee before they go to the park. And you've got people that are retired that still live in Grandview that are there. So I think it's super cool. It's a great community. The atmosphere is awesome. Place is usually packed. So get there early, get a spot. You might miss out. Another place right next door to Stoff's is Jenny's Ice Cream. And I've 
pretty sure I've mentioned it a bunch of times on here. It's one of my favorite ice cream places. It's probably the well, most well-known kind of boutique ice cream place in Central Ohio, maybe Ohio now, and maybe even the Midwest, because I know they have some places in other states as well. So Jenny's there, it's always busy, it's always slam, but if you love good ice cream, can't go wrong. As you move down Grandview Avenue, you're gonna run into The Avenue, which is a amazing Cameron Mitchell restaurant. It's kind of this throwback vibe, you know, you've got waiters and waitresses wearing bow ties and the decor is a lot of 40s and 50s inspired, super cool place. The French onion soup, really good. All the food's good, but in the wintertime, French onion soup, definitely get that. You've also got right across the street, Grandview Cafe, right around the corner, just off Grand Avenue, is Third and Hollywood. Incredible brunch, great dinner as well. So again, Grandview Avenue is absolutely awesome. Now, one thing that I do love, you gotta check this out, is the Grandview Theater and Draft House. It is super cool. It seats about 150 people and it's got beer on tap. You've also got delivery or you can get Granddad's Pizza, which is in Grandview. Granddad's is absolutely amazing. Best pizza, I think, in Columbus. That's my personal opinion. I will drive 30 minutes. Actually, I do drive 30 minutes to get this pizza. So it's just a cool experience. They've got old movies, new movies. They do it such a great job. So if you are in Grandview, visiting, if you live there, hit up the Grandview Theater. It is just a great date night, great place to take your friends, family, you name it. They've got Got it, can't go wrong with the pizza. So there you have it. That is a huge pro about living in Grandview, Grandview Avenue, check it out. So what do you guys think about Grandview? You know, there's a lot of pros and cons to living everywhere. Overall, I give Grandview an A plus. It is an amazing place to live. I hope you guys enjoyed this pros and cons list. If you are thinking about moving here, if you're making a relocation, if you already live here, give me a call, shoot me a text, whatever you gotta do, make sure you do it. I'm gonna be the guy that has your back when it comes to all things real estate in the Columbus Metro and surrounding areas. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Yeah.